Well, hi there. I'm Sandy Alnock, Bible journaler here on YouTube, and I'm going to be working in Luke 6. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. And the reason that I wanted to do this verse is because I got really upset the other day. <laughs> I was listening to a Christian radio station, and they were doing a pitch for money. And they used this verse to do the pitch. And every time that happens, I feel like I come unglued just a little bit. Because they only use the second verse. They don't use the first one in this section. The first part of that is talking about forgiveness. It's talking about how much you forgive is how much you are forgiven. How much grace you give out is going to be given to you. And that's what it's about. It's not about money. If you ever hear somebody preaching this and it's about money, run. They are misusing this verse in scripture. So <laughs> I thought that would be just something for me to maybe get this off my chest so I can stop thinking about that. Uh, and really focus on the real meaning of this verse. Anyway, I've sketched my my little beaker onto my page, and I'm mixing up this new color. is one that's like brand new at the time I'm making this video from Daniel Smith. It's called Phthalo Blue Turquoise. It's a really pretty blue. I think it's going to probably win a place in my palette at some point because it's beautiful. It is a highly staining color, so if you spill anything on your desk, you will end up with, um, yeah, blue dots. So there's that. But it's a really, really pretty sky blue color. And I'm just going to do the whole background in that. And then I added more water to it and mixed it up again so that I could have a lighter blue. And I don't know if people know that you can just do that with your watercolors and change the color of it. And I'm even just going to throw some of this lighter color right touching the outside of the jar because I'm going to do a black line around it. I can just have that color merge from one thing to another and be just fine. I had another one of these little bowls sitting on my table from another color that I had tested and I didn't want to throw all the paint away. So I'm just going to use a little of that and it's called Bordeaux. And it's a kind of purplish color, a little wine color. After it was all dried, I ironed it and then went around it with my micron pen. And I like doing the micron pen work afterwards because then I don't have to stick with the lines. I kind of stick roughly with my pencil lines, but if I screw up and my brush moves somewhere, it's really easy to just change the outline of something by doing that later. So on the beaker, I am putting a couple of labels. Forgive all or forgive the repentant. The third one is forgive grudgingly, and the fourth is holding a grudge. So if you forgive all at the top, then you are paid back in great measure. Immeasurable grace will be measured out to you for the grace that you are giving out. But if you're way down there in the bottom of the beaker and you ain't giving out much, which is kind of me at times, uh, that beaker's not going to be full, but it will be just running over with grace if we are graceful to other people, grace-filled for other people. And sometimes I wonder why God really wants that to happen. Because some people, it feels like I, I get angry and I think they don't deserve grace. And I didn't realize, well, neither do I. So, yeah, if the things that we we do like treating someone who doesn't deserve it with grace says so much about our character if we're willing to do that and to just step out and and hand out that immeasurable grace to someone else when they literally do not deserve it and what they do back to us does not have any reflection on the importance of of that it's it's our character that's on the line when we are deciding to hand out or withhold grace and forgiveness. And that's an important thing to do to grow in Christ likeness, which is what I want to do in my life. I want to be more like Jesus. And this is what I want to focus on in looking at this particular verse. Lots and lots of forgiveness. Uh, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button. It always helps the channel to get out to more people. If you do that, and leave comments and things. And I will see you guys again next week with another video like I do every Sunday. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Take care.